Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm starting a new little series here on my channel, or at least it will become a series if you guys do enjoy this first video. And that is of me trying to use up some of my yarn stash. So you guys see this in the background all the time. This is not the part of my yarn that I'm talking about when I say yarn stash. I mean the parts in my room that are like in bins that is yarns I don't use very often. And even some of the yarns that are like further down here, like the velvets and stuff that I don't use as often as the blankets, is what I want to get through. So this is going to be kind of a challenge and I'm going to ask you guys for suggestions based on different yarns that I want to use. And I'm going to use those yarns either through ideas I come up with or through ideas that you guys suggest to make different items in general to sell or just to keep or whatever else. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy this series and hopefully it's a good way to give you some ideas for projects to make with your own yarn and stash if you're trying to go through some of your yarn stash. I'm doing this because as of right now it's kind of up in the air whether we're moving or not. We may be, we may not be, I don't know. But either way, I kind of want to do a spring cleaning and go through some of my yarn and use up some skeins that I haven't touched in a really long time or maybe have never even touched. So I hope this inspires you to kind of do the same thing because I know some of us can be hoarders when it comes to yarn. But anyways, we won't talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, with all of that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. It's just gonna be me crocheting a couple different items using some yarn that I ordinarily wouldn't really use. Okay, you guys, so the first yarn that I have that I'm gonna be using is this Burnett Blanket in Ivory Tweed. I have three of these that have just been in a bin for a long time that I haven't used because I originally said I was going to make a blanket and I'm sure you guys know I don't really love making big projects so that's why I never ended up using it but I am going to use this for some plushies now. So quite a few people suggested a cow or a cookies and cream cow which I had seen Madeline May Co make a cookies and cream cow recently so I already had that idea for this yarn before I even asked you guys, but also some of you suggested it. So on the screen, I'll put everybody that suggested either cow or cookies and cream cow. And that is what I'm gonna be starting right now. I'm gonna use my own free cow pattern for that. Okay, so I'm finishing off with this leg and I've done the head and two ears. So I'm gonna go to bed because it's almost 2 a.m. Actually, I should have went to bed a long time ago. But anyways, gonna go to bed now and I will do the second leg that works into the body as well as the horns, the arms, and then all of the sewing tomorrow. Hello you guys, it is the next day. Like I said, I was gonna go to bed and finish this up tomorrow. So it is now tomorrow. And I have brown and brunette baby blanket now just to use this for the muzzle and the horns. So I'm gonna make those pieces really quick and then I will do the second foot that works into the body.
Okay, so I did the two arms and I just finished the second leg. So now I'm going to be slip stitching these together to attach them and then continuing to work around. So now I just have to sew them together. And also my cow pattern doesn't have a tail, but I think I'm just gonna freehand a little tail because I think it would look really cute on this cow. So that is what I am going to do and then it'll be done. Okay, you guys, so I'm back to crochet some more with yarns that I haven't used in a long time that have just been in my stash. So this is Baby B Adorable Super Bulky. And I've never used this before. I've used the regular Adorable, but not the super bulky. And I have a few skeins of this, so this is something that I'm gonna try to use and get rid of. So anyways, like the other yarn, I asked on my Instagram story, and a few people suggested an Octo for this. So the only thing I'm worried about is this yarn is only 38 yards, and I only have the one skein. So I'm gonna try my hand at freehanding a very small octo pattern and uh, see how it works. Okay, here's the little Octo. It is pretty small, and especially if you used a smaller yarn, it'd be even smaller. But anyways, I'm gonna make a second one because I do have quite a bit of yarn left, a lot more than I thought. So I'm gonna make a second one, and I'm gonna track how long it takes just so I can get an idea of how fast this actually works up. Here's the second little octo and here's the two of them together. I do have maybe enough for another one. I think I'm gonna do another one and just see, but right now I'm gonna take a break for lunch and I will work on that afterward. Okay, here is the third and final octo that I was able to make with that skein of yarn. As you can see, there is a little bit left, but not much at all. So it's definitely not gonna be enough to make a full another one. But these are super cute. And I think this took me like 12 minutes to make. One of them, obviously, not all of them. Let me double check. Yeah, this took exactly 12 minutes. So I am happy about that because these are only gonna be like $5 that way. And I don't have any items that are $5 at my markets yet, but I'm hoping to design some more smaller patterns like this in order to have maybe a full bin of items that are also just like really cheap $5. Anyways, that is these that I was able to make with the Baby B super bulky adorable. Okay guys, so this is my second skein of Baby Bee Adorable Super Bulky that I wanted to use up. This one is the color Waterfall Wishes. I'm gonna be using 
this skein for the mini octa pattern that I freehanded the other day. And yeah, I also made a couple other mini patterns that I'm hopefully going to release as a pattern pack at some point. But anyways, I want to just go ahead and use up the yarn because of course that is the point of this little series. So I'm going to go ahead and make a few more octos with this skein as well. Okay, here's the first little octo done. I think I might get one more done tonight and then I'm gonna head to bed and probably make one or two more tomorrow, depending on how many I can make with this skein. Okay, you guys, here is the second octo, and here is the first one, and I definitely still have enough for one more, possibly two, we'll see, but I'm going to do this tomorrow because it is pretty late now, and yeah, that is it for me for now, or at least hopefully I'll do this tomorrow. I might not end up crocheting at all. We'll see. Anyways, I'll film whenever I end up using that skein of yarn up, as well as some of the other yarns that I want to use up in this video. Okay, here's the third baby octo with this skein of yarn. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to make one more because I have quite a bit left over. We'll see if this is enough for one more or not. Okay, I was able to make one more octo, but barely one yarn chicken, so definitely not going to be able to make any more with this skein of yarn, but pretty happy with these, and yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be making next, but I'll update you guys whenever I have more to make. Okay, so I have this I Love This yarn from Hobby Lobby that I got a long time ago in the color Daydreamy that I haven't used and I asked for suggestions for this just like all the other yarns that I'm using in this video and one person said a starfish which I really like the idea of and a couple other people I think said sea creatures so I'm gonna do at least a starfish right now and see I bought this starfish pattern off of Etsy a while back when it was on sale 
So I'm gonna go ahead and finally use it for this project. And I am using a 3.5 millimeter hook for this. And I was thinking I might also double strand this with some white blanket yarn for some other projects, but we'll see. Right now I'm just going to use just this for the first little starfish. This is why I don't normally work with weight four yarn because this is gonna be so tiny. So I think actually, I have some just chenille yarn right here in white. I think maybe I'll use a different hook. Five point five millimeter, and go ahead and double strand with the white just chenille and this yarn as well. And we'll see how it turns out. Worst come to worst, it won't look great and I'll decide to frog that too. But I think it'll be a little better than just this on its own because it'll be really tiny. Okay, here is the first little piece of the starfish and I really like how this looks with it double stranded. So I am going to continue and do this for the whole starfish. Okay, here's the finished starfish. I'm absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. And I've decided now that I'm gonna go back to using the Burnett blanket in ivory tweed, I believe is the color name. And I'm gonna make an owl with this. I saw Natalie Crochet's made an owl with this yarn. And I'm sure you guys know we're like best friends. So I was like, wait, I love that. And I asked her to send me the pattern and she did. So I'm gonna start that right now with this yarn. Okay, you guys, so I never updated, but I did in fact finish this owl, as you can see. And I did also start a jellyfish that is with the same white just chenille. And I love this yarn combo that I was using earlier for the starfish. Okay, so this is the final jellyfish 
and this is gonna be the last little project for now. All right, you guys, so I do have a little recap here to share with you. I have done quite a bit of crocheting with some yarns that have been in my stash for a while that I otherwise probably would not have used, and that is just the whole point of this video. So let me show you the items that I ended up making. So first we have this cow. And again, this is with the Burnett Blanket yarn in the color Ivory Tweed. And of course I used some others like Baby Sand and Coal to just do the accent pieces. But the main body is in this color to be like a cookies and cream cow. And I think it turned out super cute. This is also with my free cow pattern. And then with that same yarn, I also made this owl. I think it turned out super cool looking. Next we have quite a few of the tiny little octos that I made with the pattern that I haven't released yet, but I should be releasing it at some point. And I think these are so cute and they worked up so quickly. So I have four in this yarn and three more in this other one. I think my tension must have been a little bit looser when I was making these because I could have made a fourth one probably but I wasn't super sure so I just didn't just in case I was gonna run out but either way I got a bunch of those little octos done with that pattern that I have not released yet but again I'll hopefully release that soon and final items I used up some of my weight four yarn and double stranded it with just chenille yarn in white to make this starfish and this jellyfish. And I am absolutely obsessed with how this turned out. I'm definitely gonna be doing this technique for some other projects because as you guys know, I prefer working with bulky yarn. So this will be a good way for me to use up some of my weight for yarn. Now, those are all the items that I made for the first video in this series. Like I said in the beginning, I will make this a series if you guys enjoyed. I think it's a good way to give you guys some project ideas for what you can make with specific yarns that maybe you've had in your stash for a while that you wouldn't have used otherwise. And in general, it's a good way for me to use up quite a bit of my yarn stash because like I said, we are moving. So I would love to do a part two, part three, however long you guys want this series to go for, I could definitely continue because I'm sure you guys know my yarn stash is huge. So there will be a lot of parts to this series if you guys enjoy it. But anyways, if you did enjoy, please do give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know which item I crocheted in today's video was your favorite. And in general, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see a part two, part three, in general, more of this series and all of my other videos. Now liking, subscribing, and commenting on my videos really does help out my channel, so thank you in advance if you do any of those things. And if you do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, all of my social medias, and my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!